Okay, here we have 10.5, finding the intercepts, asymptotes, domain, and range from the graph of a rational function. So vertical asymptotes are vertical dotted lines on the graph that the graph will not touch. Okay, so they're invisible lines. That's why they draw them dotted. So this vertical asymptote here, I just need to write the equation for it there. So since it occurs at the x value of 2, the equation here is going to be x equals to 2. Now it's not the number two because it's not a it's not a, a value. It's a line. And lines are represented by equations. So you have to put an equation in there. Okay? Same thing with horizontal asymptotes. They're horizontal lines that the graph could possibly actually touch, but the ends will never touch it. Okay, so it might touch it in the middle but it's not going to touch it on the ends, okay? Now, I see that I have a horizontal asymptote right on top of the y-axis. What is the equation, I'm sorry, right on top of the x-axis. The equation of the x-axis is actually y equal to zero. Okay? Because the y value is always zero no matter what the x value is on that line, okay? Now the domain is the set of values from left to right. So it does go to the left forever, so negative infinity. And it does go to the right, but then it never touches the x value 2. So it'll go up to 2, but it won't touch it. So use a parenthesis. Then on the other side of 2, it'll get really close. But then it goes to the right forever, which means positive infinity. Now the range, it doesn't start until it gets above the horizontal asymptote. The horizontal asymptote is at zero, and then it goes up forever. So it goes to infinity. Now it says, what are the x-intercepts? If you notice, it does not ever touch the x-axis. So in this case, there are no x-intercepts. If you do have spots where it touches the x-axis, then you need to indicate those. And then the y-intercept is actually here, which is the value 1, 2 for y. So I would select this guy here. So each graph is going to be different. Just remember that wherever your vertical lines are, you write equations for those. So x equals 2. And then wherever your horizontal line is, if it's up here, then use that y value. If it's down here, use that y value. If it's on the y-axis, use 0. Okay. And then your domain is always going to be um, around your vertical asymptotes. So it should be negative infinity to infinity, but it is going to have a break wherever your vertical asymptotes are. If you have multiple vertical asymptotes, then you're going to have multiple breaks. Okay. And then your range, depending on the graph, because sometimes this, this piece will be down here. And so then you just have a break at the, at the horizontal asymptote. But if both of them are up top or both of them are at the bottom, then you're only going to have half of a, of a interval, just one segment of the interval, not two. Okay. So each problem is going to be different and you have to answer them accordingly.